Hello, and welcome to 2021. My name is Daniel Fridley, and today I'm joined by Brendan and Alex, who will be playing a selection of two pieces for you to start this year off. We at Musical Upcoming Stars in the Classics have a number of works planned for you in the coming months, and we hope you enjoy this glimpse behind the scenes in an interview with the performers. First off, Brendan, what are your thoughts about the Tchaikovsky Nocturne? Is it a typical nocturne, and what is the genre kind of about, as it were? Well, nocturne started in the classical era um, as just meaning a piece played in the nighttime. So typically after, let's say, 11 p.m., which is maybe not so typical these days. Um, but then that kind of got evolved. A pianist named John Field, Irish pianist, took over this form and turned it into more of a melodic thing and pieces more evocative of the night instead of just pieces intended to be played in the night. And so as this progressed, he eventually moved to Russia and composers Liszt and Chopin took over this form because they were really familiar with Field's music and just loved this genre and really transformed it into these almost opera arias. And so it's basically just beautiful melody with a very nice luscious accompaniment. And uh, eventually we get to Tchaikovsky and he wrote this piece um, for piano originally but then later transcribed it for cello and orchestra and cello and piano. Fantastic. Speaking of that luscious accompaniment, Alex, this is a piece that originally was written for piano, as Brendan mentioned, but this arrangement uses the cello as a melodic instrument. You've played a lot with cellists. What are your thoughts about that instrument as a duet partner? Uh, I think this arrangement works fantastic with the cello. Uh, it's added a lot of warmth uh, to the sound of it. Uh, and I've always enjoyed playing with cellos. Uh, actually, uh, I would say I prefer uh, the sound of cello over the violin. Uh, just a personal preference, I mean, not, not to mean uh, to offend any of my violinist colleagues. Uh, but I've played with cellos for a long time. Uh, I started collaborating uh, with cello uh, when I was in high school. Uh, and then for several years I played with uh, the cellist Fyodor Amosov who is now a successful concert artist in Russia, uh, but we played here for music multiple times. Fantastic. As the Nocturne bids adieu to 2020, as it were, a piece for the nighttime of the year, we also offer a second piece for the beginning of 2021. Now, Ernest Bloch wrote this piece as he was the first music director at the Cleveland Institute of Music. This institution, of course, has shaped both of your careers as musicians as well, and so this is a nice way to tie in the past to the present. Now, the piece is titled Prayer, and what are your thoughts about that title and what it might mean for a piece without text? So Bloch wasn't necessarily a music historian. He wasn't an archaeologist of any sort of melodies. Uh, his composition style was just to evoke the Jewish spirit. So in the title Prayer, he is really trying to encapsulate all that he, he feels emotionally in the Bible and give that into music instead of um, traditional melodies. And what is it about this prayer in particular that made you want to select it for one of the pieces at the start of 2021? Uh, first of all, I love the piece. I think it's beautiful. I think um, that it just is so evocative of the human voice, which the cello is compared to in its sound. And that's always what we're striving to do is sound more like a singer. And thankfully nobody can hear me practice because I'm singing a lot while I'm playing <laughs> and not so well. But I, that's my goal as a cellist is to sound more and more like the voice as, as I possibly can. So this prayer is our send off into 2021, wishing everybody well and, and a prayer for better times to come. Fantastic. Well, a nocturne to bid good night to 2020, and a prayer for the future of 2021. We hope you enjoy.
Thank you. 